items have shifted during flight. Hi, Bob. All right, well, let me, I'm gonna take you out the front. Ugh, it is, it is cold, cold in here. We just got, we're just outside of uh, Chicago, but like Illinois, like farm country, where it's like flat. So like cold here is like cold because there's nothing to like block wind or anything like that. Plus we're a little bit further north than uh, you know, Cleveland and Columbus area. But yeah, it's definitely like frigid. So we had to run, we did a potty stop for him. No, uh... It's has, closed too? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Maybe the gas station? Yes, sir. Oh, Bubble Lane, you got dirty oh. feet. There you go, dear. Uh, just like that, we're back on the road. It's like four more hours until... Five and a half. Five and a half until we stop, so... We will see you guys then. We're actually right outside Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. It's actually warm in this garage. First hotel stop, we're in Rochester, Minnesota. We kind of, not gonna lie, anybody that lives here, kind of thought it might be a little sketchy, but where we're staying, like, I think it's like the, the hospital district or whatever, I don't know, it's wherever we're at, this area is absolutely gorgeous. And just driving around, because I went to go pick up, if you guys are local, Pascales, Pascales. Apparently it's the best in town. How is it? Oh good, yeah. Ollie thinks it's good. Look at him. Ten hours of driving. Hallie, like the champ she is, woke up first, took the first shift and drove all the way to Chicago and then I took it from Chicago to here. Pretty easy drive, honestly. It wasn't too bad. It did get into the negatives. Right now it's like negative ten degrees outside. It's gonna be negative sixteen. Ollie. <laughs> Yeah, you're being suspiciously good. You're a good boy. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning for day two, heading to Badlands National Park, and then South Dakota, well, South Dakota. We're gonna stay in South Dakota, uh, just outside of Badlands. So we will catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, folks. Uh, today we are heading to Badlands. Holy, so excited. <laughs> so this is gonna be the toughest drive that we have uh, not because it's the longest, um, but uh, because it has the hardest directions. 490 miles straight. Pretty much, we're going to stay on this road forever west until we reach the Badlands. So, honestly, it's going to be super easy today. Hopefully we see some stuff along the way. But I don't know, if I find anything interesting to film, I'll film it. But other than that, we'll just keep you guys updated. Hey, hey, Bunch, no. Holly. Bad Dr. Oh. Goldfish. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we went to Badlands, took some selfies in front of the sign, and uh, we're about to head in. Hopefully there's some stuff to see. Um, I don't think we're going to be hiking. <laughs> it's uh, called zero. Yeah. Like Holly said, it's like zero degrees, literally. My teeth were so cold from smiling. Yeah. Zero degrees according to the car. Probably a little bit colder with the wind chill, but we're gonna go in and you already see out here, we're actually starting to get, look at that, actually finally starting to see some rock formations. It's been flat literally this entire way. Easy drive though, so hopefully we'll see some sweet stuff in here. I feel like we're on like Mars or something. I mean, minus the snow, but. This is too cool, holy crap. Wow. I think we should scratch this one off the map. Yeah. We're gonna scratch Badlands off of the, uh, the, I, I think I showed you guys, but we have a national parks like kind of thing she got me for Christmas and we've been scratching off all the national parks. I think this warrants a scratch for sure. Very cool. I mean, we've seen a, a lot of it. We've been driving through for a little while, but we're gonna turn back, head back to the highway, and try to get to the hotel before the Super Bowl starts, I guess, but... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, hotel room number two. How do you think? What do you think of it, Ollie, huh? Nicer than the last one. To check in, and I gave it to him, and he goes, yep, that looks like you, and I was like, 
No, it doesn't. I have no makeup on. Oh my gosh. Funky. Look at this hat. And I'm like, my hair is like beautifully curled and everything. Oh my gosh, you're ridiculous. It looks like a, <laughs> it just looks like a pill bug. Ooh, it's cold. In Rapid City, it was like negative 16 before like the wind chill, and we tried to take... That would be in Rochester. Or sorry, Rochester. Sorry, we're in Rapid City now. But in Rochester... Come on, buddy, let's go this way. But in Rochester, it was negative 16 before wind chill. So like, the pee was hitting... <laughs> I'm taking Ollie out. His pee was hitting the ground pretty much like frozen solid. <laughs> so I felt bad having him outside for too long because his, his paws get cold. <laughs> yeah, he's literally so mad. So he's like, feet. literally like, this isn't home, what the You're hell? Not wearing your winter boots? No, these vesties are awesome. Not a sponsor, Dad, I freaking love these things. The skies here are really pretty though. Like the sunset going on. Holy crap. My earlobes are literally so cold. I can't even feel them. Yeah. They're like frozen. Oh, nice. We can come back, Ollie. Not abused. <laughs> this is actually kind of creepy. There's literally nobody here. It's a ghost town up in here. Oh, these are... Uh, I'm dumb. Didn't realize that these were all uh, state, flags. state flags. There's Ohio. Where? Right there. Oh, on the other side. Oh, H. I.O. Wow. It's actually way cooler, like way over here. Oh, yeah. No, did you make it? What was the first state? I don't have to know. Yeah, I think it has to be... Where's Plymouth Rock? Virginia? That's what I just said. New Virginia's 10th is what it's Oh. Um, it's one of those eastern ones. I feel dumb for not knowing. Oh. oh. Okay. We're going to start this. Yeah. Got real, real cold. Oh, fuck yeah. Negative six. Real fast. You don't mess with that shit. <laughs> we were just saying how bad... Like, Ooh, on the way in, we're like, oh, it's really not that bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah, I don't know if I got it on film, but little boy here eating his breakfast. He started limping, and I was like, oh, yep, we need to go. So we basically had to carry him out. My eyelashes are frozen. Mount Rushmore. Cool. Ollie can't read. We didn't see the sign until we were leaving. Uh, no dogs. So yeah, Mount Rushmore. Cool to see. Probably better in the summertime, so it's not too cold. Actually, it wasn't too bad, though. Because there's nobody here, of course, because it's the middle of winter. Now, do you want to go see Crazy Horse? Okay. No. Nah. have tea. I mean, do you want to? No. Nah. We'll make a different trip for it. Maybe. If we, well, Maybe we'll... when it's done in 3004. Yeah, right? <laughs> when we come back to Badlands, we'll be, we'll be close enough. We can shoot over. All right, Mount Rushmore rating. Like what's a ten? Snorkeling in Hawaii, or is a ten like? Zion's a ten. Okay, Zion's a ten. I'd say like four. four. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I was between a three and a four, but like it's cool. It just like freezing. Yeah, and like not like I don't know if the gift shop was even open. We walked right past it. I'm assuming a lot of the stuff is closed down because there's like nobody coming through here. We literally passed a town that like the main attraction was pretty much the hotel and the hotel was for sale so it made that whole town pretty much a ghost town and any other thing that we passed that was like stores and stuff like none of them were open but I assume that their big money making is like family road trips in the summertime. But uh, what would you rate it bubs? How many barks? Wow, God. zero barks. This parents my feet froze. <laughs> All right, so I think we're done in South Dakota. Next stop, Bozeman, Montana. All right, so we definitely lied. The way back to the highway, we kept seeing signs for Crazy Horse, and it's literally right here. So we decided to stop. Basically, they're going to make 
like give it like a little horse and this must be like a smaller version of this statue but they're gonna make a little horse that like comes out the front of there should be cool when it's done but right now literally it's just looks like yeah he's working they're working on the uh, oh oh Rand we're here <laughs> I'm sorry this is as far as close as we could come for $25 see just the face like poking out and what they're starting on looks like the arm she said you can't hike or drive any closer than this so you basically have to take one of their tours which I'm assuming is gonna be another ten dollars a person or something no I feel like it should be covered do you want to like run in and I'll just chill with Ollie for a second and just can, do you want to ask if they allow pets yeah I'll, we'll stay here all right so that's what it's gonna look like when it's done should be a pretty cool view yeah so that's what they're gonna make it look like with the horse and everything and there it is in the background so it looks like they're gonna start working on his arm and then obviously the horse is gonna be next don't get me wrong it's cool and all but it would be nice to get closer without having to take the bus which is an extra like I mean I know they have to like pay for the sculpture and stuff but uh, but it's like an extra four dollars there's like another upcharge um, just to get closer and probably get like a better view of like around front um, but it's like lakes are a little more difficult when you're traveling with like a pet you can bring pets in but they're not allowed to touch the floor so basically you like have to carry them or they have to be in like a stroller like a like a dog stroller or something so like traveling with a pet's like a little more difficult because they not every place allows dogs there's the little ticket booth for the buses and then there's the road that goes up to get a better view of it so again I wish there was like a better way to get closer but there's really no front view it's just gonna be a profile view it looks like it's gonna be cool cooler looking than Mount Rushmore when it's done for sure but like right now it's like I mean it's just the face they're just starting to work on like the hand that's like pointing um, but yeah and it's like I mean it's still dead here and it's also probably gonna be more of like a summer place to visit than like in the winter here <laughs> we didn't film much because it got real dark real quick after our last stop. Look at Ollie there. Got real dark real quick. We were driving, uh, we finished go driving through what, Wyoming, a little corner of Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And then we went up uh, into Montana. We stopped here at Bozeman. I'm not going to lie, the drive here was absolutely horrible. <laughs> like some of the visibility we were like experiencing was like, I mean like less than 50 feet. Um, it was like a pure whiteout at some some you know some points, and then it just got super dark. They have a two lane like highway, but really they oh, there's only one lane you can get in that has like some sort of traction. Uh, so we got in that lane, and then eventually you just you couldn't see any any lanes at all. Um, and then here being in Montana, it's very few and far between uh, any like city lights or or anything to be honest. So it's really just headlights. Um, so you couldn't see any lanes. You couldn't even tell if you were on the road, to be honest. Um, and then you get passed by semi trucks. They blow stuff up in front of you. You couldn't see anything. And then it's of course pitch black because it's like pretty much. I mean, it's not in the middle of the night, but the sun set like really, really early. So uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been uh, kind of a whirlwind to get here. So you can see we're just kind of beat just because that drive was supposed to take us. What, four? It's like four hours from our last rest stop, and it took us almost what set, six, seven, yeah. almost six or seven hours. So it was it was a nightmare, honestly. It was like white knuckle driving the entire way. So, and uh, yeah, I mean we have the the Grand Cherokee. It's four wheel drive, but I mean four wheel drive ain't gonna help you when it's just like it's it was literally packed down snow, like and it was ice because it was literally negative ten on the way here. So everything was just like slippery. I think at some points we were going like. 25 on like an 80 highway i'm sure it's like 80 in the summer but but we are here in bozeman you can see how nice this hotel room is this is probably the nicest one we've stayed at look at 
king size bed. We got a nice view out the front. There's a there's like the main street there. Look at this shower. The shower's so nice. So you're gonna go pick up the food then. All right. That's gonna be it for today. I think that we're gonna end this uh, as like the halfway point where we have three more nights before we get to our final destination. So halfway, but we're distance wise, we're more than halfway to Seattle. So we are gonna end it here. Uh, and then uh, stay tuned for the second half of this journey, getting this little guy. Oh yeah, you're going to smile for the camera, huh? But taking Ali across country uh, to Seattle and then starting our new lives over in Seattle on the West Coast. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for the second half of this adventure. Oliver, please, you're going to be fine, dear. I promise you're going to be all right. Don't smile like that. So thank you guys for tuning in and we will catch you guys in the next one.